Sony Xperia U. Sony are following a similar strategy to HTC in that they're releasing three different Xperia phones at different price points. So you have uh, the Xperia S, the Xperia P, and the Xperia U, with the U coming in at the budget end of the market. Uh, the design is pretty much identical to the Xperia P and the Xperia S, which isn't a bad thing. It's a very clean and elegant design, and while it's not particularly premium, I wouldn't call it cheap either. It's the smallest in line at 3.5 inches, but I personally prefer a smaller size display uh, compared to some of the bigger phones that you get on the market right now at 4.3 and 4.7 inches. That's just my personal preference, and some might find this a little bit too small. The bottom of the phone can be removed, so you can add different color caps, and the clear antenna strip lights up on notifications and alerts. Uh, you can also change the strip to display different colors, so I've got it on purple for example. You can change it to blue, green, yellow, or whatever takes your fancy. Just like the P and the S, the U is running gingerbread with Sony's UI tweaks to Android, but they've promised a nice green sandwich update is coming in the future. Otherwise, the interface is actually quite pleasant to use. It's not obtrusive in any way, and I'd say compared to Samsung and HTC, it's probably the most tolerable skin. The phone does come with a little bit of bloatware, but you can remove it without any issues. Sony is using a dual-core 1GHz chip that performs reasonably well, but it does seem to stutter and stall occasionally on heavy web pages as things are still loading. Benchmarks seem to put this around Tegra 2 territory, so hopefully that gives you an idea of what to expect. By far my biggest complaint with the Xperia U is the screen. It's a 3.5 inch display with an 854 by 480 resolution, but there are a number of issues with it. There's no oleophobic coating, so the screen attracts grease and dirt and fingerprints very quickly. And if you try to wipe it down on your jeans, not much is going to happen, so really you're going to have to carry a cloth around to keep the screen clean. Viewing angles are generally decent, but colors do start to drop off and shift towards extreme angles, and you can completely invert the screen if you hold it in just the right position. The worst issue of all, though, is that you can see the digitizer grid just below the display if you catch the light just right. It's not an issue most of the time, but it does become very irritating on white web pages as you're moving the phone around. Battery life was good overall. I didn't have any issues getting through a full day of usage, and the CPU does seem to be very conservative on standby. So with a little luck, if you're a light user, you should be able to get two days out of this phone without any problems. The Xperia U is a good device overall considering the price. Over here in the UK, free sell the phone on page you go over £180, which is pretty competitive. If you want something with better build quality, ice cream sandwich, and a best-in-class display, there's always the HTC One V, but you'll be paying a little bit more money for the privilege and get a slightly slower processor as well.